Yo, what is up guys? Ghostlane here, and today we are going to be doing a Do They Deserve It? And today we have Turtles. What's up, Turtles? Hey, what's up? Uh, Turtles, what rank do you feel like you deserve? Uh, probably like plat to low diamond. Plat to low diamond. Is there a reason why you feel like you deserve that rank? I mean, a lot of times I just get teams that fucking run it down mid. And I'm pretty solid mechanically and everything. It's just like um, my common problem is I'll win lane and then end up losing the game somehow, you know? So you're saying that you always win lane, but then, you know, you can't find a way to win the game in the end? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, I just can't close it out, whether it's me or something like that, yeah. Um, and what rank are you currently? Uh, bronze tier. Bronze tier. And what champions do you play? Mostly Zed, yeah. Do you play anything else, or just Zed? Just assassins, you know, in general. What do you think is the main reason you're still in bronze? I mean, like I said, closing out games is a problem with that elo, you know? Like, I have a hard time ending the game, but I have a great start to it. So you think if I placed you in a platinum game right now, or a low diamond game, you feel like you'd play just as well as the other players? Yeah, I feel like I could hold my own, for sure. Alright man, let's do it. Let's place you in platinum, or low diamond, whatever you want, and uh, let's do it, man. Good luck. Okay, sweet. Alright guys, we are here in game one with Turtles. He is playing Zed in the mid lane versus Zoe. This should be a good matchup for him. I think Zed is really good against champions with skill shots. You know, he can dodge everything, right? Uh, he has the ultimate, the W. Also, Zoe does immobilize herself when she does R, so um, that leaves Zed for really, really good combos. So far, there's really nothing much going on uh, on the map. Actually, okay, he's just about to hit level 6. Let's see how he plays this. Okay, so I'm expecting the all-in... And there's the EQ combo. He goes in, gets the Ignite. Zoe heals. Uh, she flashes in. Oh, okay. So he, he kind of canceled it out of there. Wait, does he die here? Oh, yeah, he dies. Um, he goes one for one. Um, not the worst trade ever. Okay, so we canceled an auto here. And then also over here, he maybe could have predicted the, the bubble by ulting. Um, but overall, that is pretty worth for Turtles. Uh, the wave gets shoved into Zoe, uh, so that means Zoe misses out on some CS. Also, the wave gets bounced back to Zed, so, so you guys are going to see in a second this huge wave probably building up to Zed's turret. So far, pretty good though. His CS is pretty even, 35 to 34, and then after this wave, I think he should be ahead. Alright, so Zed does have ultimate here. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw an all-in soon. He's looking for it, and uh, here comes the Olaf from behind. He's going to go for a gank. He does have the ghost on. He also has ultimate. There it is. Can he juke it? Nah, he's dead. Um, a gank like this could have been avoidable, maybe. Um, did he have a control ward? He didn't have a control ward. Maybe he didn't have enough gold. Um, but maybe like a ward right here, a ward right here, maybe a pink ward. Um, would have prevented that gank. Also, maybe Warwick following. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, really, really unlucky. Wait, what does he have? Okay, so Zed has ultimate. He has both sums up as well. And there is the ultimate. Okay, I think when... Okay, when he queued over there, I think he should have... Oh, this should be good. Let's see it. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, when he queued over here, I feel like he should have waited for Zoe to come back. Because when she comes back from her ultimate, she stands still and that leaves like... That's like a free queue instead of, you know, throwing it out before she goes back. I feel like that would have been a lot better for him to just like wait. Um, but overall, good solo kill. He solo killed Zoe and Lane. That's really, really good. Zed did decide to go for the Yumus and Swifties. Um, not sure why he didn't go Duskblade. Mm. Goes for a Rome bot lane, gets the kill on Kaiza. Decides to Obram. He should be dead here, right? Oh, he doesn't have Electric yet. Never mind. Gets the kill on Zoe. Oh, Brom doesn't die. He's like 1 HP though. Dang, that's really unlucky. Um, wait. Hold on. Wait, so... so Braum actually decided to go for for attack speed boots. Um, not sure, not sure why. Maybe, yeah. I, I'm thinking like maybe his logic is like, oh, if I get attack speed, I can stack my passive faster. Um, they should be able to get this chariot, but I'm not really sure why Braum went attack speed boots. That seems kind of troll. Yeah, not sure why. Is he going for the solo kill? Nice lanes the entire combo. Ooh, the heal. Ooh, the outplay. Alright, Kaiza coming out. Oh, okay, that. Kaiza had both summoners there, so it was kind of unlucky. Um, also, Zed didn't have R. Maybe, okay, if Zed went for the Duskblade rush, I feel like he could have killed her there. Like, the burst would have been too much for Kaiza. The thing with Duskblade on Zed is just, it's so good. You get a one-shot people. With Yumu's, like, although you still do a lot of damage, like, just the, da the, the, the punch isn't there, you know?
Goes for the flash. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit sloppy. I did go one for one, though. Hmm. Was that worth it? I guess Kaiza is ahead. He did go for the one for one trade. I'm not sure because whenever I go into a team fight and I know that I'm going to die regardless, before I even go in, I try to ask myself, you know, what is my team going to do if I die? Mm, it was two for one. I think he maybe should have just waited. A little bit ambitious there. But I guess Riven was coming. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. It was a good attempt. So, so far, Turtle has 120 CS by 21 minutes. Not the best CS. He has been roaming a lot, though. He almost has Duskblade. Does he get the killer? Yeah, he does. Okay, he does. And then he should get Riven here as well. Okay, nice. Alright, getting some cleanup kills. I like it. Oh, there should be a kill on Kaiser right here. Oh, that is... Wow. Okay, she survives with like 1 HP. Oh. She flashed and healed. Two summoners. And uh, I think that's going to end the game. Yeah, blue team is going to probably close it out here. Um, 150 CS. 150 CS by 26 minutes. Um, it could have been a little bit better, but I don't, I'm not expecting like anything insane, right? Um, eight and six, not bad as, not bad of a score. Um, his teammates did fall really behind though. His bot lane was pretty far behind all game. And then his jungler kind of got, you know, just destroyed by the Olaf. Olaf was 12 and one, dude. After this game, I don't know, I don't know what rank he, because I definitely, he definitely played a lot better than bronze. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comment section what rank you guys think he deserves. Let's go talk to turtles and see what he has to say for the game. Alright guys, we are here after game one with Turtles, and uh, Turtles, what are your thoughts about the game you just played, and how did it feel playing in Platinum for the first time? Uh, it was pretty alright, I mean, went about as well as I expected it to, it was pretty much like a bronze game. <laughs> um, like, I won my lane, kind of, pretty much, and uh, did all I needed to up until the mid to late game, my team just couldn't do shit. You got a couple of really, really good kills. Um, and you know, as you said earlier, you couldn't really close out the game as well as you yeah. wanted to. Um, what do you think was yeah. the main reason for that loss? What do you think really happened? Um, I hate to blame people, but my bot lane was like 0 and 6 at the start of the game, and then you know, Warwick had very little jungle presence. But overall, as a team, we just did really crap. How did that game compare to a bronze game in terms of like environment? Was everybody really nice? Like, what happened in that game? Um, I think people were flaming the Warwick, which is average. People flaming the jungler. <laughs> Wait, people were flaming. But, um, what were they saying? Were they saying some hurtful stuff? Uh, uh, basically, like, learn how to gank and crap like that, the usual. <laughs> well, some of the but, plays um, were quite interesting, though, from the Warwick. Uh, there was one point where he was, like, chasing the Olaf, right? But he, yeah. like, missed his cue. Like, he was trying to cue the, the Olaf, but he, like, ran past him by accident. I'm not sure. <laughs> it was pretty bad, though. There were a lot of questionable decisions coming out from the Singe to Warwick. Uh, I'm not blaming them or anything, but there definitely some interesting plays that happened that game. After that game, do you truly feel like you deserve platinum? Like, because you, you you did do pretty well. You got a, you got a ton of kills, uh, some misplays here and there. Um, also, you did get you, you did get ganked a couple times. I mean, it felt normal to me. It felt like a almost an average game. One person kind of got a lead on their team and then just snowballed it for the rest, and my team was just uh, almost non-existent for part of the game. Um, if you were to go back into that game, what would you change and what would you do differently? Um, can I change my team? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Be, being serious though, what what would you change uh, gameplay wise? Um, because I feel like there were up, uh... Uh, a couple things. Sorry to cut you off. There were a couple things like um, I saw you that you I saw that you rushed Yumu's first instead of going for the you know traditional Duskblade rush, and I feel like Duskblade yeah. is better on Zed. Uh, what was your reasoning behind that one? I honestly wanted to roam a lot, but I couldn't quite get it off. Um, bot lane was so far behind anyways that it wouldn't have worked in the end. So that was, yeah, that was bad. And uh, also, you decided to go for um, the Swifty boots? <laughs> yeah, that was also part of the roam, yeah. Um, so you, you thought, you know, maybe if I get some mobility, I could help on my team and, you know, maybe snowball this into a victory. Um, yeah, I saw that I was the only lane really winning, so I wanted to kind of carry it around, but it I just couldn't. I see um what what else what else do i usually ask there's one more thing that i forgot sycamore hmm. what, 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 what do i ask what do i ask um uh, 
do you still think you deserve platinum after? Um, he said it. He said it feels like any other game. Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll ask that one more time. All right. So after that game, being completely honest, do you feel like you deserve platinum after that game? Yeah, hundred percent. All right, man. Um, I like the confidence. I like what you. I like what you're bringing to the table. You did. You did win lane, and that that shows a lot. Um, and I feel like your mechanics are good. Your macro might be a little bit off, but you know, there's something to improve on always, right? Uh, did you have fun though playing in Platinum? Was it fun? Oh yeah, it was, it was pretty great. Were you nervous at all? Uh, kind of, yeah. And that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do enjoy the series and you want more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the video, all that YouTube stuff. I love you guys. Catch you guys later.